Hey everyone, I wanted to just give you a little update on my book writing process. I am currently at about 20,000-ish words. A lot of them are not good words. They're bad. It is a rough draft. Uh, but uh, I had a head start on this project. Uh, a couple years ago, I started. Um, and so I thought, why don't I give a little update on why I'm writing this book and how it came about. For my master's degree, I wrote about humor as a prophetic device, and um, I looked at Jonah as a potential satire, as a, uh, a comedic book in, in the Bible. There's hyperbole, there's some really gross imagery, uh, there's great reversal. All of these things are elements of comedy. I could talk more about that some other time, and I probably will someday because I can't help myself. Um, so I started that project on Jonah uh, as part of my MA thesis and, you know, knew I wanted to write a book about Jonah someday and I just kept putting it off, putting it off, putting it off. And then in 2022, I went to a conference and it was a church planning conference and it, the conference was great. And I know the people who put the conference together. It was in Houston. Uh, so there was travel. And... Uh, I did not want to go at all to this conference. <laughs> I don't really like conferences. They're hard for me to like really get excited about. I, I, I want to be home. <laughs> That's where I want to be. And, uh, and so I was at this conference and, uh, it, we, uh, the person that I went with, uh, he was our church planty, planter and residence type relationship. And, uh, Michael is his name. And so we were there and it was great. I learned a lot. But that first night I ran into somebody who was at my, uh, I went to my master's program with him. His name is Jason also. And, uh, and so Jason actually ended up sitting right behind us in this massive church in Houston. And uh, it was just so, so insane how all of the different things came together. Uh, after the first night, uh, he uh, he and I started talking and he asked like, hey, have you been working on more Jonah stuff? I tell people about your Jonah project all the time and your perspective on Jonah. And it's been really helpful for me. It's helped me like actually read the Bible thinking these people are real people. Uh, I hadn't really moved on beyond that uh, with Jonah in particular. I had since gotten a doctorate in, uh, at Portland Seminary, um, but I didn't really do more with Jonah again. I'm at this conference that I don't really want to be at. And, uh, but somebody just said, hey, you should think about it. And I was like, oh, maybe I will think about it. The next day uh, they had at this, this church planning conference, a, a time of response and prayer. Uh, in, my, in my tradition, we would call it a, an altar call ascent of sorts. And part of it was an, a reaffirmation of calling to church planting. And I wasn't there as a church planter. I was there as a uh, person who is supporting church planting. So I'm all for it. Go for it. Um, while this response is happening there, uh, I just felt the spirit stirring in me. Like I brought you to this conference for a very particular reason. And so I sat down and I just started outlining what, if I were to do a project on Jonah, what would I do? And so I just started outlining like how I would approach Jonah as a book, a book about identity, calling, purpose, mission. But also I wanna highlight the, the fun, funny things about the book of Jonah, because the book is amazing on so many levels, um, but all the while trying to help people get to a place where they can see themselves in the story of Jonah, where, where the Lord has called us to do things that maybe we don't want to do. Like I didn't want to be at that conference, but he brings us along on these places. And all the while we learn about who God is, about his love for people and about uh, how he wants to transform our hearts in the process. Jonah is just such a wonderful little book. So I outlined this thing at this conference and I, I went and found uh, my friend Jason and I was like, hey, I don't know what is happening here, but I wrote this out. <laughs> Thank you for bringing this this up uh, and bringing up the, the my Jonah work and, you know, kind of kick something loose in my brain. Um, but I also felt this like just a stirring, like maybe this is why God brought me to Houston 
of all places. <laughs> Houston is a great city. It, it takes three days, more than th three days to probably walk across like, like the city of Nineveh. I didn't want to be there and here I was and God spoke to me in that moment. And so that's kind of where this, this, the origin of this book comes from. And so I came home and I was so excited and I started writing and I got a good, good head start going. I had four chapters written just on chapter one of Jonah. All right. And then I kind of stalled out because I started doubting myself. I started doubting whether or not God really wanted me to do this thing. I started doubting whether or not I was the the person who should write this book. I started doubting and think and and I just was not really committed to it anymore. And part of the the struggle is chapter two. Uh, and I'll I, I'll probably talk about this when I actually am closer to the drafting of it, but. I'm not really good at Hebrew and I'm not really good at Hebrew poetry. And uh, I looked at that as that is too hard for me. And so I got to chapter two and I just stalled out. A year and a half went by without me really working on the book at all. Uh, and then my wife, Kathy, who's the best, she, um, she said, why don't you join this writing cohort and let's, let's get this book finished. And so I signed up. And it's called a book in six months and i'm going to be working towards finishing this this book it has brought new life into my writing and so i'm looking forward to sharing more about the process and the journey that i'm on uh but i just i, I just love the way god kind of winks at us uh and and you know like jonah i was someplace i didn't want to be and god was moving in my life and transforming me and so when I write this book and, and you know, as, as well as like anytime I write a sermon, I, I'm talking to myself first, but I also know that I'm not alone. I'm not the only person who has moments of doubt and questioning identity and purpose and mission. And, uh, and sometimes God needs to get us out of our comfort zone. God needs to take us on a wild ride, <laughs> like the book of Jonah, to help us to see that we need him and we should de depend on him. And so a little update and a little origin on the book project that I'm working on. And I hope it's a blessing. I hope it is helpful. Uh, if you uh, want, want to keep following along with this process, uh, then please like, subscribe, all those things. Uh, if you think somebody that you know might be interested in uh, learning more about Jonah and calling and identity, uh, then share this with them and bring them along on the journey. Uh, this is going to be uh, a wild ride and I'm, I'm looking forward to the process. So yeah, so thank you so much. If you have any questions, comments, leave all those down at the bottom, do the thing. And uh, I will uh, talk to you more later. Have a great day. Bye.